what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 3 supernatural let's play so i'm so glad that you guys are excited about this let's play you were all very receiving of the first part which makes me really happy makes me really excited to continue the series so without further ado we are back for part two we're going to be hanging out with asher it's actually nighttime. We had him, you know, rest up, slumber during the day. And, you know, he is, you know, not supposed to be out in the sunlight. So he is out prowling, hunting. He's going to try to drink some blood because, you know, that's what vampires do, right? So he's got that look on his face like, I'm coming for you, son, right up to this. Who is this? Uh, proper introduction. Oh, he's so cute to Joe McDuff. Um, I'm not really sure how this works in The Sims 3. <laughs> Do you have to, like, talk them up or anything? Um, you know, discuss matters of proper etiquette, you know. It's very polite that I should ask you for a drink of your blood. Can we do that? Is that a thing? <laughs> Maybe give him a hypnotic gaze. Will the hypnotic gaze allow us to have a drink? I mean, he liked it. <laughs> I mean, if you liked that, then, I mean, why not go ahead and just give us a nice little drink? I see some werewolves around. I think I may actually bring Rowan over if he's not already asleep. Oh, it's really late. He's probably asleep. How do you, I'm, I am such a noob, how do you drink? I know that I have options to drink my household's blood, but I mean, why don't I have the options to drink his blood? So basically, I don't know why it's not an option. Why is everybody running? <laughs> uh, and I guess everybody's leaving, but I wanted to deny being a vampire. Maybe if we lie, okay, I guess he's going home. Okay, well, whatever, I'm, can I drink from a werewolf? Is that a thing? I mean, this sucks. Honestly, this sucks so much. <laughs> There's nobody here. Does anybody know a mod? Can somebody help me? Do y'all know of a mod in The Sims 3? Probably something that I should Google, <laughs> but I'm lazy and can't bother. Oh, 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 what the hell? <laughs> that was weird. Anyways, a mod that, you know, populates these out outings more. I mean, I know it's you know, 12 a.m. Closing time. This venue will be open again tomorrow. Oh, come on. He's like, really? I just, I need some blood. I need some good blood over here. Special vampire. Um, show off teeth. I'm like, I want to drink. How do I drink? Y'all, this is, can I drink from a horse? You know, that's really weird. Maybe, oh my God, that is morbid. Who do I think I am? You're not feeding on a horse. Y'all, I don't know where to go. I don't think anything's open. Oh, okay, hold up. I see, what is this? A red velvet lounge. Well, you know what? We're going to the lounge because surely, surely somebody's at the lounge. You know, this place has to stay popping. Somehow, I'm going to find out how to drink because I'm getting thirsty. And y'all, I don't know why everybody's, oh, okay. I guess you're going to get into your formal wear, you know, try to seduce them. I don't know why everybody in this household loves and prefers to use Sybil's broom over any other mode of transportation. I set the vehicle in their, on their lot to the preferred mode of transportation, or so I thought. Uh, apparently not. Can I even get in here? Am I fancy enough? Ooh, ooh, okay, let's see. Oh, what does that look for? Does he not like her? Is she in the way? I'm so confused. Proper introduction. She kind of is dressed like a vampire, so I bet she's a vampire too. It's probably good that he um, introduces himself to other vampires. Is this place closing too? Everybody's leaving. I want friends, and everybody's leaving. No, this is like filling me. This part is filling epically. Everybody's leaving. Really. Okay. Well, you know what? Asher, we tried. He's just gonna... Okay, close in time. We'll be... We'll be open tomorrow. I mean, for real? For real? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, you. Can I have a proper introduction? Can we... Can we introduce ourselves? Don't leave. I want to talk. I want to chat. Hey. Hey, yeah, you. Back. Over here. Are you human? Are you a vampire? 
What are you? Can I have a drink? <laughs> His eyes are super creepy. I don't know how to do this. How do I drink? Yeah, I don't know. I guess we just kind of go for it. Hey, I value my precious plasma and you're not getting your mouth on it. Try the hospital or something. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I should give him a hypnotic gaze first. Offer to turn. I think we have to maybe be friends with them before we offer to turn them because that is what he wants to do with his lifetime aspiration or wish or whatever. Read mind. No, but I... How do I, uh... <laughs> Y'all, read my no special, uh, vampire hypnotic gaze. Yeah. All right, let's try the hypnotic gaze one more time and then see if I can get him to, uh, have a little drink. Chauncey Graham doesn't know what to do. He's been dazed by Asher McAllister's hypnotic gaze. Yet, he still won't let us... Okay, evidently, he's not that intimidated. Try the hospital or something. Okay, I mean, I guess we can do that. Where's the hospital? I guess I can do that. Because right now, I'm really thirsty. And this has been a big, epic fail. Hospital. Raid sacred... Spl okay, well, I guess we're just gonna... Raid the place, right? And just get all kinds of blood. I mean, sure, why not? <laughs> On our little broomstick, off we go. Doctor? Is there a doctor in here? Okay, so it looks like maybe, yeah, okay, so we're basically just getting it from our inventory. Okay, you know what? That'll do. I give up. At this point, I give up. <laughs> Apparently, we need to befriend some people around town before we can, you know, go around hunting. It's not as simple as it is in Sims 4 where you can just kind of, you know, hypnotize them into, you know, getting a drink, which is more realistic. I mean, you should be able to do that. Obviously, these people are not going to let you drink their blood, you know? I wonder if the defibrillators can shock hard enough to bring me back to life. Does he want to come back to life? <gasps> Does he? Is it something he wants to do? Because, you know, once Sybil gets good at magic, I bet she could help him. Because that's part of her lifetime wish, is to, you know, cure people. Oh my god, does Asher want to be cured? I think he does. Oh, maybe that's something that, you know, we can work towards curing him. All right, so we're back home, and that was an epic fail. I'm sorry, my dude. <laughs> we're just going to have him drink his plasma juice and, I guess, um, hang out around the house. Uh, it's getting daytime, so he probably wants to get out of the sun, and he'll probably have to catch up on his energy, but... I guess we will kind of hang out with Rowan a little bit. Earlier off camera, I had Rowan and Sybil create online dating profiles. So, ooh, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> that was weird. Anyways, yeah, because in the last part, you know, Rowan and Iridessa were getting a little flirty, which was interesting. Not what I was expecting. No, 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 it wasn't Rowan. I'm sorry. I'm so confused myself. Okay, it was Asher. It was Asher and Iridessa that were getting super flirty. Um, so, I really wanted to see, you know, if I could hang out with Sybil and Rowan too today. Maybe go to like the summer festival. Um, I guess we can take Iridessa too. We probably will leave Asher at home because he can't get out in the sun. And maybe that's something else I really need to look into. Maybe we can find a cure so he can go out in the sunlight. Oh my god, where's that music coming from? I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but oh. It's got to go. It's got to go. Turn off. Thank you. Huh. All right. Anyways. Yeah, I guess we can probably do that. Like, go to the summer festival today and meet other werewolves and other witches in town. I really think that Sybil needs that. She needs to meet other witches. Um, I think that's very important that she, you know, has other witches to, like, teach her things. So let's come down here and eat some leftover waffles. Iridessa is still sleeping. We'll let her finish. Yeah, everybody else is still sleeping. So I'm going to let them rest up. And then once I get everybody up and ready, I guess we'll head on over to the summer festival and see who else we can meet. Y'all, Asher, my heart. So he has a crush on Iridessa, obviously. 
Iridessa was just up here eating some waffles. She's now going downstairs to take a shower before they go to the summer festival. And he walks up here just waving at her with her on his mind. And he's cleaning up after her because he's just proper like that. And he's crushing. And you know what? I really didn't think a vampire and a fairy would make for like a really good, you know, couple, you know, romance, like a little love story. But apparently, I mean, they're cute. I'm not going to lie. They're really cute. But... Anyways, let's have, um, what's he doing? Clean? Oh, I guess he's going to clean up. All right, uh, I think everybody's, yes, we're waiting on Iridessa to finish showering and getting all ready. And then we are going to all head off to the romance, oh my god, not romance vessel. This is The Sims 3, not The Sims 4. Sybil has increased her magical abilities with knowledge. The fire blast and ice blast spells play with the elements carefully as they can affect Sims and in inanimate objects strongly oh okay all right so we're going to go to community lot with iridescent and sybil but yeah i feel really bad that we're having to leave asher behind but he can't come out in the sunlight so my bad dude we'll be back making my way downtown walking fast faces pass and i'm home now okay um i don't know what that was where is he going he is like yes he's so happy to be out he loves the outdoors all right, so let's look around before we get ahead of ourselves. I want to see who we have. Hopefully this place is a little bit more populated. Um, usually the festivals are. I just, I want to, oh, a little bruise. The broom riding contest. Oh my God, we are going to stunt ride. Yes, we are. Please, this is so freaking cute. Okay, who is this? Johnny McDuff, okay. She doesn't look supernatural to me. I want to make some supernatural friends. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. This is so annoying. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to go tell... Our desk is going to go tell a fairy tale. I want to watch this. Ooh, uh, oh my gosh. This reminds me of... I love this so much. It reminds me of Harry Potter, and I'm a huge Harry Potter Potter, I can't even say his name. I'm a fake stan. Anyways, I love Harry Potter, but which is crazy, which is crazy, what is crazy is I was never um, into it until recently because I was never allowed to, and then I went to Universal, and I had to, you know, know what Hogwarts was and all about it, and I'm obsessed. It's awesome. It's amazing. Anyways, take a picture real quick. Oh my gosh. I wonder if, like, She's, like, telling it to... Oh, my God, that is so cute. Um, but I wonder if you level up on riding your brooms and doing tricks like that. That's really cute. I love it. But anyways, what is she doing? Over here, telling this poor guy a fairy tale. And he's like, I don't give a cahoot. I don't care. Cool. Uh, what is he doing? Uh, there's, like, nobody here. It's really starting to annoy me that anytime I go somewhere, there's not a lot of people around to befriend. But let's just, I guess, hold hands <laughs> with Flint Macduff, the police officer around town, you know, kind of just suck up to him. You know, if anybody goes missing, you know, any feeding going on, any late night hunting, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't Asher. It wasn't us, dude. I'm telling you. We're, we're clean. We're good. Okay, full of crap. All right, what is she doing? She's going to make a snow cone. She is the cutest little thing ever. But yeah, she obviously must be into Asher. So I think that, let's go check on Asher. Okay, yeah, he is sleeping. I was gonna say I want him to make sure he is rested because hopefully, um, I don't know, maybe him and Iridessa can go out tonight, even though, you know, they're not like official couple or anything. Um, but he, evidently doesn't have any freaking luck whatsoever <laughs> hunting but maybe he can take Iridessa out to the little lounge that we made it to a little bit too late um so yeah that'd be fun and what are y'all doing look at her now I guess she's gonna hold hands like see this is what I wish was in the sims 4 I wish they could hold hands even though it's kind of creepy to like go up and hold hands with strangers but anyways y'all I'm going to let them um I'm bouncing all over the place, but I'm going to let them enjoy uh, the little festival here. And then I think once it gets a little bit later in the evening, I really want, <laughs> oh my God, lick it, lick it, lick it, lick it. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> 
Anyways, oh my god, I'm gonna have Asher and Iridessa go out, uh, see uh, if we can have them, you know, have a first kiss or something, because I don't know, I just think it's really cute that he's into her. I didn't see that happening at all, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, Asher, I really can't take you seriously with the suit all the time. I really, really can't. Oh, my God, he's giving her a romantic hug. He's like, you look very beautiful today. He's so proper. Oh, my gosh, I might have to change his proper etiquette, which I really like, but I just I don't like that he's always in that suit. It's really bothering me. Every time I change him into his everyday, he changes back into the suit. Oh, my gosh, I bet she would let us drink off of her, but we're not going to do that. I think that we're going to ask her on a date, okay? Can we do that? Oh, I'd love to hang out. Where do you go for fun? Oh, well, could you ask? Because we're going to go to this nice little lounge before they close. It looked very nice, very fancy. Proper place for me to wear this proper coat. So let's visit this lot with a date. Hopefully, God, please let them take the car and, and not the broomstick. I don't even know if two can even fit on the broomstick. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, she's in her formal wear too. So apparently this lounge requires you to wear your formal, which, you know, makes sense. It is a lounge. So, okay, you know what? I guess, I guess the suit's okay for now. I'll let it slide this time. This place is smoking hot right now. Perfect. Great. Okay. Can we... Oh, this is... This is not the wrong person. Okay. Let's have us come over here and give her a little wink. Oh, my God. So cute. Oh, she's getting a little... Oh, no. I thought that was a bed. Okay. Well, she's thinking about fishing. Look at her. They're cute. Aw, and who's this? Erica Wolf. Ooh, I want. Ooh, I wonder if she's related to Rowan. Ooh, are, are you in the Wolf bloodline? Ooh, some people. Oh, it's a mermaid. Oh, uh, another fairy. Oh, and he's. Um, I'm sorry, Asher, but he's a cutie. I bet he's married though. Let's a friendly introduction. Why do I always do that? Friendly. Let's friendly introduction. Let's introduce ourselves to him. Um, you know, no, he's thinking about him like, really, dude, you're killing my game right now. And it's like, no offense, babes, but I haven't met another fairy, and I'm super excited. His wings are beautiful. Oh, I didn't get her pointed ears. I failed, didn't I? Maybe she does have pointed ears. You just can't see them. But um, let's fairy frolic. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at them A fairy frolicking around. That's super cute. Um. It looks like this place is a little bit haunted. I don't. I want to meet some more vampires. I don't see any yet. Okay, we have Mer Lady. All oh, right, not Mer Lady. Um, whoever. Not okay. This is not Mer Lady. This is Erica Wolf. Are you always in this good of a mood? I would love to get to go out and get to know you better. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Okay, no, no, no. I want, I want, just out of curiosity, I want to ask if you, if he's single. I bet he's married. What are you doing, Asher? He's like hypnotizing him, like you little punk ass bitch. <laughs> Taking my woman. Oh, how do I do this? How do I answer my phone? Okay, answer phone. Sorry, y'all. It's been a hot minute. You know, I'm, I'm still learning. I don't, I'm still trying to. Oh, trying to remember. Oh, this is kind of just too creepy for me. There's just too many people around just doing some creepy things. Like, why doesn't Rowan ever transform into his being? Does anybody know? Not me. Have a quick drink. No, I, did we find out if he's married? Romantic. Ask if single. And then I really want you two to come over here and, like, dance with each other. You know, y'all are on a date, so can we get together and hang out? Oh, yes. He is in a relationship with Dahlia. Okay, well, they're not married, but you know what? We've got our eyes on this one over here. I think it's super cute that, you know, they like each other. Um, oh, my God. Can we slow dance? Can we make sure this music is set to some nice um, um, classical slow music and then just have them dance together? Oh, my God. Wait. I think maybe he should ask her. 
Because I think it's going to be a little backwards if she asks him. Right? No. Oh my gosh. This is so sweet. Look at them. Oh, okay. Y'all ruined it. <laughs> oh no, it's just weird because like I said, this definitely was not the match that I was anticipating, you know. I kind of imagined her with like a fairy herself. Um, and him possibly with, uh, Sybil or either Sybil and Rowan hitting it off, which, you know, still could happen. But I didn't expect this. I did not expect it. But I think that's always better when you least expect something. So I think they're having a great time. We can make her think of, okay, we're not going to control her. We're not going to do that. Um, can we read her mind? No, let's not. Okay. <laughs> let's have our first kiss. So they just had their first kiss and they're both so excited about it. Oh, like she's just so over dramatic. He's gonna have a quick drink and, um, oh my god, they're so cute. Definitely, like I said, did not expect that, but uh, this place is gonna be closing soon and she's also really, really tired. So I guess I'm gonna have them just kind of end this date and go on home. Oh my god. Ooh, 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 that's creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Make her think about me. Let's come chat with her. Oh my gosh, that, that is so creepy, y'all. I love this. I love this so much because, you know, it's not realistic at all, but it is like Halloween time, so I think it goes with the mood. So, ooh, I love it. Let's go over here and chat with her. I don't know if, I wonder if you can like woohoo with her and stuff which i mean i'm such a pervert so inappropriate i mean who would nah, that's gross Ooh, but i mean i guess he's dead too if you think about it mm, let's make her think about oh well i guess he probably really needs to use the restroom um okay well i guess we're just gonna let her do her thing walk around and clean that is the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> I love this so much. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I think we had a very successful day, or at least Asher and Iridessa did. Let me know in the comments what you think about their little love story. Do you see it happening? Do you ship it? Is it kind of weird? I don't really know. Let me know what you think and uh, what you want to see in the next part. What should I focus on? Any tips or suggestions? Leave it down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later.